Hello everyone, my name is Avalon and welcome back to Kaze and the Wild Masks. We're now on the fourth world, Carrot Land, um, which I'm quite surprised to find was not the, uh, oh, is, sorry, the last world in the game. I thought there'd be more, um, and there's a few reasons for that as we go through, I will discuss, um, but we're now into the fiery worlds, much like many games in the old 90s platformer era. Um, you know, like Rayman, Sonic, those sort of things. You start in the forest, you go to a desert, you go to some ice place, you die immediately, um, and then eventually you find your final boss in the middle of some volcanic lava or evil layer or something. Um, so this seems to be where we're heading for our last, our last level. So, so we're just going to climb up against the the rising tide of lava. I did the same thing, the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop being bad at the game and then we're going to start <laughs> climbing against the rising tide of lava. So uh, these pink gems that I'm collecting um, are important in each level. There are three collectibles to collect. Uh, there are of course the four letters that you find in these style games um, that spell out your name Kaze. Um, there are the... Um, They are the uh, the pink gems that I'm collecting at the moment, of which you need to collect a hundred of them. Um, and then there are two bonus stages which you have to find, which each give you half of a green gem. These are the titular masks, um, and each one gives you a... Oh, it doesn't go all the way down. <laughs> each one gives you an additional ability. Um, the eagle mask, as you can see, allows me to use my big bunny wings to fly. But not over that, apparently. Right, so this one you need to go over, and then this one we learnt the hard way, you need to go under. There we go. Avoid the spiky thing, shooting the flaming pips. There's something down there. One of the letters handy, and a few gems. Oh, and some health. That's going to be useful. So the health works like um, games such as Crash Bandicoot with the Unga Bunga Mask, um, where, as you can see, you get your your companion, or you had your companion. Um, I'm really still unsure whether what their relationship to you is. I'm not sure if they're your brother or your boyfriend or what, but they are the, the call to action that you get in this game. See, again, there's something over here. Oh, it's just some gems. Um... And yeah, they'll, they'll just uh, protect you from a single hit. Um, which I already wasted. Which is sad, but it is what it is. Shouldn't have gone down. I thought there might maybe be something at the bottom of this, because it looks like it's quite a challenge to ascend. Um, but there was not. Just nip through here. Ah, another checkpoint. So this the checkpoint seems to be some wisdom bunny dude. Um, and the masks all seem to be something unique. I'm not really sure what's going on with the story as of yet in detail. I only know my part in the story. They have obviously crafted a world um, with lore in it um, because you pick up um, um, art as you collect all of the letters of the name so every time I collect Kaze and finish the level I get some artwork unlocked um, and this means that I get some storyline to uh, to reward me for my for my uh, my exploration I would say skill but given how many times I have been hit in this level um, I don't think skill is <laughs> an apt choice of word oh they don't Oh my word, they were shooting like one after the other and then suddenly they all shot at the same time. Cool, so. So every time you die, unfortunately, you lose all of your pink gems and all of your letters that you had collected since the checkpoint. So I still keep the ones from before the checkpoint, but the ones that I picked up after I have to go and collect again. Just as a, uh, a reasonable punishment for death, I feel. Let's see if I can keep this this health buff a little bit longer this time so uh, as you can see I have to collect the Z again I haven't seen any bonus stages as of yet though
And there's nothing over here again. I wonder where it is in this level. Or where they are, because there's two. Oh, there's a... Port... A sleep and Pickle. Blocking an area, that's always shouting. Look at it. Oh, it's just health. Just health. So collecting additional hearts once you have already got a shield will um, actually give you um, additional pink gems, which just makes hitting that 100 number a little bit easier. Okay. Still nothing. Aha! 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 What's down here? Oh, it's still not a bonus level though. I've got the whole of Kaze, but no bonus level as of yet, so... I'm really not sure where they are. I must have missed one, surely. Oh, too much of a risk there. I'm just a glutton for punishment when it comes for looking for secrets. Here we go, and these are the bonus levels that I mentioned. They're like little green things that they hide all over the place, and you have to uh, you have to go and look for them. Super. So this one, just collect the green crystals and avoid the spiky boys. So irrelevant of what health you may or may not have had in the level, once you're in a bonus room, you have no health. You just can't get hit. Which makes sense, because they're only short challenges. It's uh, not unreasonable to ask someone to, to perfect them. Ooh, there we go. But that was the second one, which means I have absolutely missed one in this level. As you saw when it filled the gem in there, it was it gave me the, the right hand half of the gem. Um, which is how I know that it was the uh, the second one. Right, let's just... Oh, this is going to be quite tight actually with these things. Super bolt. There we go, we got 100 gems. We got 109, loads of gems. And we just got to make our way up this hopefully final rise without taking any hits. Oh my word, what's going on here? They are shooting from all the angles. Oh my word. Oh, I thought I could get through that gap, but I could not. All the way back to this checkpoint. Alright, so we are back here. This time I've managed to maintain my health, which will be really handy. Oh, it won't be handy at all. <laughs> I thought maybe if I could retain my health through this bullet hell section, I could at least, you know... <laughs> get through it and actually I made it look easy there that's just sad <laughs> superb so we managed to find Kaze we managed to get our pink gem but we need to find the first half of our green gem superb and straight into the next level which appears to be a deserty one so definitely live in the hot theme in this world um yeah like I said at the beginning the the video I was kind of shocked to find that it was the the final world you know um, you had the first world which where the boss for example you were normal Kaze um, and then you had oh no oh no ah! <laughs> um, yeah the first world you had normal Kaze um, as as your um, your form, and then the the second world you had. Oh, I'm not going to get those gems somewhere. Oh, I shouldn't even shouldn't even have tried. Yeah, you have normal Kaze, and then the next one you come in as Eagle Kaze, and then the third one I was Tiger Kaze. So I kind of felt like there should have been a boss for Shark Kaze and Dragon Kaze as well. Um, but obviously, is there something up here? I feel like there's something at the top of this updraft because it seems weird to have it. But yeah, like, so there's not, so if this is the final boss, then theoretically you'd be normal Kaze, similar to how um, Donkey Kong was, where you'd have one with each of the, each of the Kongs, or maybe you'll get a, a phased boss fight where you have all of the different um, masks in the final boss, I don't know yet. Um, but irrelevantly, it means there won't be a dedicated boss to Dragon Kaze or Shark Kaze, which I think is kind of a, a missed opportunity. 
It just seems, it feels a bit short to only have four worlds, I guess, with five forms, essentially, if you include the base form. I'll stop taking those risks, Avalon. There's nothing at the top of them. You found this out already. <gasps> There's one there, though. Haha, <laughs> saw that one. See, they hide the bonus stages off to the to the sides. Oh, and I'm, I'm Bird Boy. Cool. So this is similar to a previous bonus stage where I said the timer seems a bit superfluous because you've got a massive purple tornado coming for you. So if you're not making, <laughs> if you're not doing it fast enough, you know, the tornado is going to deal with you. You don't need the time limit to, to let you know that you need to be fast. Oh my lord. That is the first one of those that has moved whilst they jumped. Every other one has been stationary and just jumped up and down. <gasps> oh my word. Oh, I've lost a lot of gems there. A lot of gems there. Well, at least I got those ones, I suppose. No, I'm not going to get the A. At least we got those gems, I suppose. I mean, is there any point risking it for the Z now? Oh, well, I'm, I, I'm going to say I did that on purpose so I could go back and get the A. That's what we'll go with. Alright, this time. This time we must get it. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Although that does now add pressure, I suppose, in the fact that I now have to go and get the other ones too. So if I mess up now... Alright, that's the Z dump. Now the E was in a jar... Okay, there's the E. Right, cool. We got the letters. Now we just need to run! Oh no, I run wrong. This time we've got it. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, that was way too close. Pick up the thing, you silly bunny. Ugh. Right, awesome. So now we've got the A, so we just have to worry about if we're going to get the other ones. And oh, that was way too close. So we've got the Z, just the E. Have we seen the E yet? Yeah, we did. It was in a jar, wasn't it? Because we ignored it earlier. Speaking of the devil. Ooh, that was close. Oh, we're just going to leave those gems. This is Raging Sage. Ooh, that was close. Okay. So we've got these ones with their helmets, which I love. And we've got a little updraft here. That's handy. That's how we're going to get over there, isn't it? Okay. So you learn in a bonus stage, actually, at a different time, that if you ground pound these things, you get extra height. Which is how I'm able to get over to these corner bits here. Still loads of time. Don't rush it. Don't rush it, Avalon. Just take your time. There we go. Superb. So there we go. We've got a full green gem on this one. We could be en route to uh, getting 100% on this one, then. If there's any more pink gems around, which there's one... But it's not enough. 90. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. 
That's all from that one I missed on that floating beat as well. Well, when I know damage that, I think I'll get the 100 gems because the extra hearts will make up the extra gems that I need, irrelevant of whether I get that, that extra one or not. So let's go into this darker level. Oh, it's got the, the slingshots again. The, not slingshots, crossbows again. There we go. Oh, that was way too hard to get into. But there we are. Up into the first bonus stage already. That's quick. But yeah, like I said, I guess I'm just a bit disappointed in the this being the last world. You know, I kind of... I really enjoyed... Um, that was so lucky. <laughs> I really enjoyed the different masks throughout the game. Um, so it just seems a shame that they're not getting their own dedicated boss fights. I, you know, I mean, at least one of them can't. Irrelevant of what the rest of them do. Oh, I missed that one then. This is quite tough because you can't see where they are. And, like, there's no reason for the shark mask to be needed for this final boss that we've got here. That was lucky. Um, yeah, there's no reason at all for it, because... There we go. Um, there's no water in it. It's lava. So we're not going to have a water level, are we? Theoretically. So I might not see the shark mask again. I mean, I suppose there could be, like, a, a forgotten lake or something. get that. There we go. Oh, that was that was fast. <gasps> Bad tomato with your silly bazooka. Oh, well the camera wanted me to be down here. Okay, so that is interesting. If you shoot yourself into jelly, you immediately get the maximum jelly boost. Also, if you ground pound into jelly, you get a uh, maximum jelly boost as well. Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd fallen off then, but actually I just found the secret K. All planned. Oh, should have gone top first. Should have gone top first. Awesome, so top first. No, that's not top. Alright, so top route first, right? There we go, right, A, nice. Ooh, lots of gems. Oh, lots of tomato boys as well. Not too much of a challenge though. Didn't mean to slide down that hill. Right, let's just kill both of these because <laughs> they both annoy me now. Oh, there's your checkpoint. Nifty. So that locks in the K and the A at least for us. Ooh. Crikey! Oh no. Didn't make that across that next bit, did I? Ooh. It is good fun bouncing off beats like that, I have to say. Ooh, that was close. 
I need to be super careful now that I don't have health to cover my mistakes. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, they didn't reach this far. Okay. So you want to hit him there? Yeah. Gems, gems, gems. Didn't see any bonus stages still. And that's the thing with this game, you just got to keep your eyes open for those bonus stages constantly. Like, at least the letters are a very bright colour, they're quite easy to see. Well, this is quite good fun. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. That was silly. Gotta make sure the gem greed doesn't get you. Avoid that gem greed. You know, safe gems, collect them. Dangerous gems, just leave them. And then ignore everything I say and collect the dangerous ones. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do is need to avoid that one. There we go. I bet there was a bonus stage below that. It looked like there was no thorns for a second there. I bet that's where it was. Timing thing. Oof, oof. Another timing thing. Straight through the middle. No bother. And then there's the end of the level. Yeah, missed that second bonus stage though. That's kind of frustrating. Awesome. So now we're into Zip Lizard. Okay, so. I guess I was wrong about the dragon mask. I guess it's a lizard mask. I'm assuming that's the mask we're going to get here. It made it sound like it. Onions! Go away, onions! Ooh, nearly. Nearly. Right. Oh my word, this is going to be a tough one. Or not. <laughs> Just grab that case super quickly, avoid the onion. Stay back, onion! Oh, it something jumped for me. That onion was hungry. And here's our well, here's Lizard Mask, that's a uh, that's a checkpoint. So at least we get to keep that K, because that was although I made it look easy, it wasn't easy at all. It's just luck, I think. Oh, you run across okay, that's cool. But you can still drop down them and whatnot. Whoop! Oh, no. Don't dive. Alright. Don't get shot by the sweet corn. Hit the double jump and don't hit dive. Simple as, really. Oh, the bonus. I just saw it. Oh, darn. Hey, when you see it too late, you know. Well, there's the A. Probably could have got away with not um, getting hit there, but I'd rather just get the A and get a move on. There's a checkpoint, so that locks in the A and guarantees us never getting that um, checkpoint again. Oh my lord! No, that's a shame. That's quite a cool little section, though. Quite challenging, you know? Good use of the corn. All right, jump over these sweet corns. Jump on this sweet corn. And away we go. Oh, these onions. They're very stressful. But I managed to get the E, which is handy. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Oh, masterful. I've got enough gems, everything done, apart from that missing bonus stage. Oh, did I get it? No, I missed it. Oh, I missed them both, apparently. I don't know what I'm thinking of when I think I get it then, because I clearly did not. The Haunted Lake. Well, you know, I said there'd be no more shark levels, and I was clearly very, very wrong. So let's see what the Haunted Lake has for us. Oh, it's a nice aesthetic, isn't it? I like this colour. It's another one of these on-off light-dark things. Oh, do you reckon... Actually, it would be cool if they had that mess of fish back whilst you were a shark. That would be an interesting... <gasps> got the gems yeah because they had this big fish thing in the previous one where you were the lizard I see that you were the lizard and this big fish thing was chasing you and you had to hit blue lights to speed it up and s slow it down sorry and um, red lights would speed it up and make it closer to you but it was like a spirit fish whereas it was first introduced in the shark level I can't remember if it was the first shark level or... No, it wasn't the first shark level, was it? There's still seven of these to collect. Man. Well, that was lucky, I guess. I only went back that way to avoid the, the spiky things. I still have absolutely no idea what these spiky things are supposed to be. Like, animal-wise... Oh, God, it's going to be close. Get out of the water, get out of the water! No! Okay, so we need to do the same thing, but faster. But yeah, I've got no idea what they're supposed to be. Maybe there's some American vegetable that we just don't eat over here. Because there are a few of them. Stop diving! <laughs> Alright, we've got way more time this time, which is good. He says, fly! There we go. All is well. Superb. And some thorns there that I almost didn't see. And then these spiky hedgehog boys. Let's knock them all out to get us a bit more time. Ah, uh, yeah, see, look, there is a big fish dude. Okay, so the blue lights... Oh, man, that was horrendously bad. The blue lights that will hopefully appear soon... There's one. ...will slow him down. Allow me to get a little bit of respite. Let me stick on our shark mask. I have to say, normally, um, water levels are, like, terrible in, in games. Like, the, the they slow you down, they make you feel kind of slow. And I can't think of many um, examples where... I felt that a water level has left you um, feeling mobile, but the, this game, you know, it really does. I feel really, really mobile when I play this game as the shark. I think they've done a really good job with the uh, with the water levels. But the downside is, of course, because you are still moving quite fast. You have to think about controls and stuff, but you have to think about it in additional axes as well. Because um, obviously in water you can go more than just left and right. You can go all over the shop, really. Oh, missed two gems, and then just two damage. Run, 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 <laughs> The pressure of this big fish chasing you really does make a big difference. Can I get that? Oh no, I can't because there's... Ah, oh, I see, you get the light thing that's down there. editing Avalon here, and uh, apparently I was concentrating way too hard during this part to notice I wasn't actually talking. But um, <laughs> this section here is quite interesting, you know, you've got um, a hidden tunnel with just the tiniest glint coming up um, after you've uh, collected this first letter. So this 
you know, I worked out before I died that there was that light switch there and you could quickly spin it around. Um, but it is just after this drop here, there's like a little tunnel. Yeah, you just see the pink gems glinting in the, in the water. And I, 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 you know, watching the footage back, I really don't know how I saw it. It was pure, pure luck, I think. I don't even think I meant to go through there. <laughs> but uh, hey, it worked out for the best. Awesome. On to Circuit Capers, which looks like another platform level. We had one of those in the last world. I don't know how I feel about platform levels, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, my lord. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, they disappear after a while. Look. Okay. Um, so when the track's yellow and brown, I think. Okay. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about levels like uh, platform levels where you have to obviously um, follow the, the speed that the level creator has de defined in the platform. But the one that we had in this game, um, Last World, was still quite fast. We got the Tiger Mask. Feeling a lot of mask use in this Last World, which is good. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, the platform level. Uh, it felt okay speed-wise in in the last world but sometimes you get them and they just feel so slow because you have to constantly wait well I felt like that was a little bit unfair I thought I'd hit him but okay I'll take the damage I guess <gasps> oh 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 well, that's okay I can wait for the next platform no major loss I suppose This one, however, looks a little bit harder because I've got time beating up this pickle. Oh, that platform never wakes up. Oh, that nearly got me very good. That, however, did get me. I got too, too aggressive with my with my pounces. Super. This one feels okay, to be fair. Um, I thought it was going to be more standing on platforms and waiting around than what it seems to be. It seems to be more actually just timing platform jumps, which is totally okay with me. I reckon when it comes to speed doing this one, um, you can probably do that on the first round. Ooh, that was close, but we got the checkpoint. Oof, that was super close. Okay, so... Oh, my lord. Okay, there's an A up there. And... By Jove, I'm gonna have it. There we go. Um, so this disappears. Hit the beat root. Oh, my lord, that was a bit too close for my liking. Okay, so there's a Z up there, which you're gonna obviously have to dash here to get. There we go. Easy. Dash that. Jump there. Okay, cool. Oh, and things are starting to rise now, so we can't make any mistakes here. We can't do anything too slowly. I've just got to do everything max speed. Oh, man, that was so close. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this feels like a, a final challenge section of the level. And there's a pickle there. Oh, I bet there was something behind that because I didn't do it. So there's always something behind it if you don't do it. Yeah! But I ran out of time with the with the rising the rising poison. Oh, it stopped rising. I was getting panicked and I thought I missed the gold and the poison was still rising. I mean, I got the full cars, eh? I got the gems, it's just the green bits again. I didn't see the bonus rooms again. Cool. 
Seems weird to have a toxic level not in Toxic Lake, given that the whole of Last World was built around the Toxic Lake. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Awesome. I saw that one straight away. I saw it whilst the bloody level was loading. Collect all the crystals. Alright, so we've got some flamey things. Oh, crap, they come out faster than I thought. <laughs> thought I had a bit more time with the lava bubbles that aren't lava bubbles. There we go. Superb. Well, at least we got one of the green gems from this level and make a change from the f past few. <laughs> okay, so we've got big spinny things going on here. Interesting. Oh, these ones aren't aren't together. That's good fun. Okay. Oh no. Oh that was so lucky. We got okay. So all is good. Ooh. This reminds me of like one of those <gasps> thorns. <laughs> it reminds me of one of those um, like rides where you're on the swing and the whole ride sort of spins around and swings, spins the swings around. I don't know if you know what I mean, <laughs> but that's what that reminded me of anyway. I mean, there's got to be something on top of that, hasn't there? Yeah, bonus level is what's on top of that. Well, that's both of them for this level then. Nice. They were quite early. Okay. So let's ride the merry-go-round whilst the pumpkin tries to kill you. I can get behind that. But the timer might make this a little bit harder. One more, and it's at the bottom. Just gotta get back up to the top now, and we're done. Superb. Awesome stuff, right. And it puts me back on here, so we can just get across to this moving one, and then immediately fail. Right, so under, over, straight onto this one. Bounce, 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 get these gems, and then wait for this. Okay. Oh no, 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 that was so close. Alright, cool. So we're just going to go up and round. We're going to get this nice little gem, and then we're going to make our way over there. Alright, so we got some of these lava bubbles again, but they seem to be timed okay with me. And a checkpoint. Thank goodness. Oh, wise bunny. Oh, let me pray to you, wise bunny. We've missed a few pink gems as we've gone around, but it's no problem. It's all good. I also have a sneaky feeling I've missed a letter. You know when you've just got... Oh, no. Apparently I'm all good. That was really tense. Sorry, there wasn't much talking during some of these sections. They are actually really getting hard now. I mean, we always knew that eventually this game was going to really pick up the difficulty, but I was not expecting this. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Okay. Grab the Z again. Oh, nice. Take that. Just make my way back over the platforms coming from nowhere. Oh, some of these bits are way too close. Right, let's see if I can remember to jump this time. There we go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, 
you know, I'm risking it, we're just gonna fly. Bounce, bounce. Oh. I mean, visually that was very cool. <laughs> oh, that was tense. But I think we got 100% on that for the first time in this world. There you go. Nice. Oh, I got Historian as well. Brilliant. So this is the level here that the green gems all come together to, to make. Um, when you get seven green gems in the world, you unlock that. Oh, and this is the final boss. Typhoon's Tough Tussle. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, um, I'm going to go back and complete the other levels in full. Um, and then we will come back and we will defeat the evil Typhoon. <laughs> Alright. So this one was actually tucked away here, just after you get the bird mask. Let's get straight into that. Defeat 20 enemies. Just use a combination of... Uh, oh, well, that goes to my combination plan, doesn't it? Don't know if I've got... I, have, I missed loads then, didn't I? Alright, this time, same thing, but miss less. <laughs> Wasn't even aiming for that one. <laughs> oh my lord, just hit the flipping beat root. <laughs> that felt cheesy. <laughs> Get him in time. We fly up behind this one, hit him, hit him. Oh, I didn't need them all. Did not need them all. Awesome stuff. Alright, I went through this level several times looking for this, and you can just see it there, hidden behind like the thorns in the foreground. Really clever hiding. Very cheeky. Let's get into this one. And let's collect the crystals whilst we uh, ride on some beats. This should be quite a challenge, as it's quite difficult to kind of regain height. I can't get back up to this top one, that's all good. How am I going to get to this one? Ah. There it is. Really, real challenge this one actually. Alright, now I need to get all the way back to the top. Ah. Oh. I couldn't get back up to the top. How frustrating. This time though, surely. This time. We know how to get back up now, it's side by side. And I'm doing everything so much fast this time. Let's get to the top. 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 There we go. Oh, made it. Alright, we saw this one before and there's a hidden wall after this dude. There. There we go. Oh, we're actually using the lizard mask. Nice. Oh no, I'm missing so many. So many missed. I need three more. Okay, cool, we got it. Now we just gotta to get to the end. Gotta to get to the end. There we go. Easy. Oh, that's the second one. I must have missed one sooner before that. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so this one I actually found by accident. I was looking around the screen for hidden stuff and I accidentally crawled through this rule and that was how I found it. It was sheer luck. But here we go, reach the gold. We've got some green spiky boys and some ropes. Okay. Certainly not the most challenging one, that's for sure. But there we go. And there it is. Hidden at the top, behind a hidden wall, of course. Bloody nightmare. Collect all the crystals. Okay, so we have some It's a smiley face! Hey, ooh. Are we just going round? No, we're not just going round. Okay.
You need to keep speed in this because if you if you lose speed, you'll lose the pattern of the face, which needs to keep working with you as you go round. But there's that one. Second one of those dealt with. Okay, so somewhere we didn't check originally was up here, and that is where the first bonus room is in this toxic stage. Collect all the crystals. Okay, so we've got platforms falling that come and go. Okay. Oh, down the bottom this time. Over there. Ooh, that's a... If I'd seen that, I probably could have got that without having to go back again, but I didn't even see that it was there. Okay, cool. We made it. There we go. Awesome. And we know the other one's behind that pickle. Let's go get it. Alright, so we've got the rising water section. We've just got to focus on that, getting that pickle. Pickle, where are you? It's going to rise slowly. Oh god, it's all the way over there. Ah, pickle! Pickle! We got it. It's all good. It's all good. Bonus stage. Collect all the crystals. Where is the next one? Oh my lord, it's right up the top there. Why did I not see that? Easy. First time. Let's rock and roll. So that's all the crystals for this world. To the bonus stage we go. Alright, welcome back. We have unlocked the bonus stage for the final world. It looks very, very thorny in the background there. And also has some platforms. It's called the Bullet Vator. Sounds like a silly gun and like a boys thing. But obviously it's just going to be a bullet hell sort of elevator ride. Yeah, here come the bullets. How much can you trust these indicators, is the question. <clears throat> oh my word, there is so many things. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. I can't see anything. Ah! Okay, we've got some, some nice friendly indicators over here that we're going to follow. Oh no, I jumped into that. On the upside, it seems to give you a lot of health to make your way up here. Maybe if I can just get my way to the top here um, with the gems and then I'll come back and do no damage separately maybe <laughs> because this is just insane. To be fair, I have only been hit once so for a blind run that wasn't terrible. But there it is. Level clear. Nice and quick one that. Nice and quick. Dodge the rain. Superb. So all that leaves is Typhoon Tussle and the final boss. But first, we're going to have a look at the album since we've now unlocked the whole thing. So starting from the beginning. Oh, hang on. Give it a minute. <laughs> oh, so many gems. Pling, 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 pling. There we go, right. So... The wise bunny from the checkpoints holds the staff with the ring in it. And he goes towards what looks like the lizard scroll, I'm guessing, and he puts the lizard scroll in a chest with a solemn face. The master of the eagle writes her notes. The shark master swims freely, and the tiger lord swings his ropes. Whilst the wise one trains with purple magic, they all train together? I'm not sure. Oh no, the it, she's making the statue of the wise bunny. And they eat and have merry times together. They race. They, they actually look like children now, but they race anyway. And the wise one raises them, teaching them the ways of the wise rabbit. The wise rabbit balances food. Oh no, the young rabbits balance food. Um, this looks to be Kaze and Kaze's brother boyfriend who falls down many times whilst I assume Kaze looks smugly on. The chubby one prays at the feisty one, I guess. 
But then, the wise rabbit gets sick. There's also a candle in a tree, and rabbits look sad about this. A new wise rabbit is named, but the salty one, I'm assuming that's Typhoon, is not happy about this. She snatches the staff and raises the evil carrots. The Chosen fight the carrots, the tiger, the eagle, but as you can see in the background, Olaf smiles, sending his troops into battle. The wise rabbit reveals that there was a fourth forgotten mask. It is the mask of the lizard. They must all pray together to the bunnies in front of the statues. And that's how the masks begin and the seven or many crystal gems, I guess. I don't really understand. But Typhoon, I think her name was, continues her rampage, slaughtering small bunnies as the purple spirits of the bunnies that gave their lives to make purple gems take the staff. It has been taken away and she is sealed within it. And there it rests, waiting for us to begin the game by touching it. And I assume switching spirits, so I'm guessing that my brother boyfriend is in the ring. And that released Typhoon, which obviously started the game. So let's go and meet Typhoon and have a little tussle. Hello, Typhoon! She definitely is the feisty one. Oh, she's coming for me if at all. Ooh, gem. Oh, that lit up everything on the background there. That looked pretty cool. There's lightning! Okay, so that seems to be her attack as she makes big lightning things across the entire screen. Uh, you need to think about getting gems before you get them, it would seem. Don't just don't just blindly get the gems out of <laughs> I know they're shiny, but <laughs> lightning is hard and hurts. Stop casting lightning spells. Oh, I got all the gems. She's gone pink. Oh, they're the spirits of the bunny elders, aren't they? Oh, that's glitchy. What? Oh, and the bird. Ooh. Ooh. Gosh, it's almost like what I wanted, like a challenge with each of the masks. And then, oh, we're moving now. Okay. But she's still doing lightning even though we're moving. That seems a bit unfair. What if I haven't got a platform that's safe to go to? See, like there. What if that platform hadn't have been there? Oh, this is a real test of your ability to control Kaze, I have to say. Oh, there's gem six. Why, she can still hurt you! Please. Oh, we're Sharky Boy now. Let's go. Ooh. And I died. Tragic. Okay, Typhoon. It's you and me. In the final showdown. I will avenge my brother boyfriend. For what you have done to him is unacceptable. I'll trap you in some of those spots. I like the kind of glitching as it moves you around. I don't really understand it in lore terms. I don't think it has any value in terms of storyline, but I do like it. Well, that's the eagle mask bit done. Whew, that was a little bit tight. It's a challenge to keep avoiding her, keep an eye on the moving platforms, keeping an eye on the gems, and making sure you don't get blasted by lightning. Super. So now we've got the shark. Which last time I got hit on, so I have to be more careful. 
Oof. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Oh, now we're going up. Okay. But she's doing sideways lightning. That seems a bit unfair. I'm not going to lie. I do like her voice, though. It has that definite, like, evil cackle to it. If that makes any sense at all. You know, that... Ha! She does sound evil when she does it. Oh. This might take a while. <laughs> Alright, Typhoon, this is the one. I'm gonna grab our gems from our ancestors, the bunnies of wisdom's past. And you are gonna get nowhere near me. You evil, malicious bunny. Stay back. Awesome. Let's go be a bird. Tweet tweet. I do like these phases. They are... I like that they're all on theme with, like, the bunny level. I don't like the sideways one. This one's really hard. <laughs> But I like how um, the primary part of the boss battle is you as base Kaze. You know, just using all of the skills that you should have built up over the game to actually uh, combat. Or tussle with, sorry, not combat. Tussle with Typhoon. I wish it wasn't so tense though. I want to look at the background more. It looks so cool. Right, let's go drown. Time for some water. Swim, swim, swim. Superb. Now, we climb Mount Typhoon. Oh man, I got so lucky there. That was so insanely lucky. Oh, my word, where's this gem, man? Oh, look at the recovery! I've missed the gem, though, unfortunately, but I got that one there. There we go. All right, let's go be a tiger. Raw, raw. Oh, what? This isn't a tiger. Ah. I was expecting to be a tiger. I was not a tiger. Oh, now I'm a tiger. What? What's so special about the tiger mask? Oh, my word. Well, there's the end of that. All right, Typhoon, let's go. Let's play your silly game. The rabbits of wisdom's past will help me. Let's go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got a bit excited with the B button there. Awesome. So you're a bird in this stage. Tweet, tweet, tweet. So it's weird that you get the, the tiger mask as like the final phase. Like, I, I don't understand what's so special about the tiger mask. Why, why does he get to be the final stage? Why not any of the other masks? And the tiger mask got a boss battle dedicated to it. They really don't like the other masks, do they? Definite uh, favourite animal of the, uh, the developers showing through here. Bunnies of Wisdom Pass have, have caught Typhoon in her shell. And we will be a shark now. The elders of the shark will embody me to greatness. 
There we go. And once again, we will climb Mount Typhoon. Oh, that was lucky. Oh. All right, Typhoon, let's tussle. The bunnies of Wisdom Pass will help me here. As I avoid you, I avoid your tussle. Oh, I nearly didn't avoid you then. Oh, that was a little bit too close. Oh, it stops her lightning. That is good to know. Right, third phase. Alright, so tiger phase. Let's rock and roll. Remember, the platforms fall. So we have to be swift, as Typhoon is a very literal Typhoon now. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, there's a big red gem. She's coming for me. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, okay. Oh, she's gone. Typhoon has been defeated. As Kaze gives Typhoon the death glare, the wisdom of the bunnies is released. Lasers everywhere. She's electrocuted. Yeah. That's a good tussle. It's a good tussle. Nothing below the belt or above the belt, except for the lightning. I'd say that was kind of maybe a little bit below the belt. Awesome. So as the carrots wreak havoc on the pigs, the wolves, the shark that's on land again, suddenly it turns into a normal carrot, and the fox eats it happily. Hooray! The Kaze looks sadly upon her brother-boyfriend ring. It glows with the redness of hope, and he appears. And they hold themselves, embracing in the fireworks of victory. Surrounded by the gems of Bunny's wise. The staff left empty, the ring still in Kaze's arm. Beautiful fireworks over the aisles. As who I assume to be Kaze, yeah, Kaze stands, staff in hand. She raises the staff. Holding it proud, brother boyfriend still over her as a spirit, with the ring growing glowing red. 
new bunny of wisdom has been born. The wisdom bunnies show from everywhere. The missing wisdom bunnies from across the world. Which I collected all of. I collected all of the wisdom bunnies. So Kaze puts the wisdom bunnies back into their pedestals. This pink wisdom light fills everything. Kaze standing tall and proud. The world around her turning pink. Is this too much power as lasers fire out from every angle? The wisdom bunnies turning everything to purple. Sparkles as brother boyfriend is back. Is he back? He appears to be back. He is back. As Kaze smiles happily. Here he comes. He is the chosen one to hold the staff. And with the weird gasps, I'm hoping it's on boyfriend's side of things. But he falls slowly towards her and they hold, embracing tightly. What a pleasant ending. As we fade to black. And there it is. Kaze and the Wild Beasts. Achievements pop up. And the Wild Mars, sorry. Achievements popping up everywhere. Awesome. Now we get a chance to just appreciate the uh, the devs a little bit. Uh, it's the first game I've ever heard of from Pixel Hive, so I'm quite excited to see what other things they've done. Um, I really enjoyed the art style of this game, and I'm glad that we've gone back to this sort of um, stage selection platforming sort of style. So there we go. Let's just enjoy this theme tune and watch the credits roll. can tell it was quite a small team, lots of repeated names, which is good. Well, I say it's good, I mean it doesn't necessarily mean it's good, it's just nice to see that it was a small team that worked on this project. And there he is, Daniel Romanenko. What a hero that man is, he has done a great job with the art here and, and Cristiano Bartel has done a really good job applying it to the levels. Really good duo there, the art has been fantastic throughout this. And then Paul, Paolo Bora, I think, has done a really really great job with the, with the audio I feel as well. I think throughout the whole game it's been pleasant music, enjoyable music. Um, only one instance where I had anything negative to say about it, and even then it wasn't particularly negative, it just felt that the theme was off. Uh, and there's Sadesco, the publisher. Again, don't know anything about them, never heard of them as a brand before, so um, there you go. But A couple of people coming through here. Definitely be worth checking out both Pixel Hive and Sodexo and see what else they've done. I think it'll be a very interesting sort of thing to look into. And the quality assurance team making sure I didn't think we actually came across any bugs in that level. I mean, I, I know I had issues with the speed parts of it, but I don't think we came across any bugs at all. So there we go. 